Hello everyone, welcome to Math Cognizant. This video is about solving system of equations. You can solve system of equations using different method. In my previous video, I have explained how to solve using the uh, elimination method. Sometimes it is difficult to identify the exact solution to a system by graphing. In this case, you can use the method called substitution. So, we are learning substitution method in this video. Here are the steps which we need to follow while solving the substitution method. The first step is to solve an equation for one variable. That means you need to pick a partial solution either for x, y, a, whichever the variable is being given. Substituting the partial value of variable in the other expression and to find both the solution. You will understand it in much better way when you solve the questions. Here is the first question. Solve the system of equations using the substitution method. There are two equations given. Let's name them. Equation number 1 and equation number 2. So the first step is to find the equation for y. Once you start practicing, you don't have to write step 1, step 2, step 3. You just continue simplifying the equations without any extra work. So the first equation we need to write it as it is 2x plus y equals to 4. Now I'm going to subtract 2x from both the side. When we do so we are just eliminating the x variable and then we are finding the value of y. That's a partial value of y. It is not an exact value. So this is equals to 4 minus 2x. Now we are substituting this value of y in one of the equations. So I am choosing the second equation to do so. 3x plus 2 times y which is the value equals to 4 minus 2x that's equals to 7. This is the second equation. Next step what we need to do is use the distributive property and then solve simplify the equation. So, 2 times 4 equals to 8 and 2 times 2 is equals 4x. In the next step, we need to simplify the whole equation. So, what we have is uh, we need to simplify the x terms and the constants. So, 3 minus 4x is equals to negative x and 7 minus 8 is equals to negative 1. We need to simplify it further by dividing uh, both the sides by negative 1. So divide negative x by negative 1 and uh, negative 1 by negative 1. So the resultant value of x is equals to 1 because we have to keep x as positive. In the next step we need to substitute the value of x to find the value of y. So choose uh, any one of the equation and then substitute the value of x. So I have chosen the first equation and re replace x by 1. So 2 times 1 equals to 2 plus y equals to 4. This is an addition equation. So use the inverse operation that is subtraction. Subtract 2 from both the side. You will get the result of y is equals to 4 minus 2 is equals to 2. Next step is to verify the solution 1 and 2 satisfies both the equation or not. To do so, we need to substitute these order pair in both of the equations. Equation number 1 and 2. So let me place it in equation number 1. Value of y is being given as 2 and uh, x is 1. So 2 times 1 is equals to 2 plus 2 on the left hand side and 4 which is constant in the right side. So both the order pair satisfies the equation number 1. Let's check it for equation number 2. So let us substitute the value of x and y in equation 2 and check whether this satisfies the solution or no. So 3 times 1 is equals to 3 and 2 times 2 is equals to 4. When we add this, we will get 7 on left hand side and there is a 7 constant on the right side which is present in the equation. So both these order pair, both these solutions satisfies both the equations. 
we have example number two let's number the equation as one and two in this question let's take equation number two to solve for x so x equals to let's uh, subtract y from both the side of equal and then it's left with x equals to 16 plus y or y plus 16 you can write it in any ways y plus 16 now substitute the partial value of x in the first equation x plus 3y equals to negative 4 in place of x substitute the value that's y plus 16 plus 3y equals to negative 4 now simplify the like terms that is y plus 3y which gives us 4y 4y plus 16 is equals to negative 4 so this is an addition equation we need to simplify this to find the value of variable y let's subtract 16 from both the side of the equal and the resultant value is equals to 4y equals to negative 20 you should be very careful with the integer addition and subtraction you should place the sign proper sign when you are simplifying the integers now this is a multiplication equation so we need to divide to keep the variable alone to find the value of y so divide it by 4 so 4 and 4 get cancels the value of y is equals to negative 5 in the next step we need to replace y by negative 5 and find the value of x to do so let me pick first equation and substitute the value of y in it so x plus 3y equals to negative 4 x plus 3 times negative 5 is equals to negative 4 that's the value of y is negative 5 now simplify it x plus negative times positive is negative 3 times 5 is 15 equals to negative 4 this is a subtraction equation we need to add 15 on both the side and when you simplify it 15 positive and 15 negative get cancelled and it's left with x equals to we need to subtract here because it's different signs and put the greater number sign that is 15 minus 4 equals to 11. So we have the value of x as 11 and value of y as negative 5. Uh, the last step is to verify in both the equations so that the solution satisfy both the equation or no. Uh, let's place value of x and y and simplify it so 11 plus 3 times negative 5 will give us negative 15 and on the other side there is negative 4 so 11 minus negative 15 is equals to negative 4 so both the side are equal the solution satisfies equation number one let's check for equation number two when you simplify it substitute the value and simplify you will get 11 negative times negative is positive 5 equals to 16 which is on the other side of the equal sign so 11 plus 5 equals to 16 both the sides are equal uh, these solutions satisfies both the equation Here we have a problem solving question which reads one cable television provider has $60 setup fee and charges $80 per month and the second one has $160 setup fee and charges $70 per month. In the first question, in how many months will the cost be same? What will be the cost um, we need to find? So using the above information, let's write down the equations, two equations and it's been said um, in how many months will the cost be same? So we have to make both the equations equal 
to find the variables let's start writing the equation number one so in the first equation there is a setup fee of sixty dollars and there are the monthly charges of eighty dollars so setup fee is sixty total cost is equals to sixty plus every month we have to pay eighty dollars so eighty m per month that's why so in the second equation the information given is the setup fee is $160 and uh, the charges monthly charges that's equals to $70 so these two are the equations so we have to solve both the equations for T because we have the total paid amount is T so we need to substitute the value of T from first equation into this second equation the first equation t is equals to 60 plus 80 m so let's write it down 60 plus 80 m equals to 160 plus 70 m let's simplify the like terms to do so first we'll remove the constant that is 60 from both the side negative 60 and it's going to be minus 60 on the other hand side also cancel it down we are left with 80 m is equals to 100 plus 70 m next step we need to find the value of m by subtracting 70 m on both the side so 70 minus 70 m is equals to minus 70 we left with the answer as 10 m equals to 100 this is a multiplication equation now let's divide it by 10 which results in m equals to 10 so the next step we need to substitute the value of 10 that's for every 10 months what is the total cost we need to find that so let's substitute a value of m in the first equation let's substitute m equals to 10 here t is equals to 60 plus 80 times 10 which is equals to 60 plus 80 times 10 equals to 800 when you simplify it all together you will get 860 that means for every 10 months the cost is equals to the total paid amount is equals to 860 dollars if you substitute m equals to 10 in the other equation even then you will get the same amount as uh, 860 dollar that's that means for every 10 months the total cost is equals to 860 dollars let's see what's our second question is being asked for the same uh, problem if you have to move in six months we calculated for 10 months now if we have to move for six months which is the cheaper option explain to do so in um, place of m we need to substitute the value of as 6 and then simplify the equations so 60 plus 80 times 6 is equals to 480 60 plus 480 is equals to 540 so the total cost would be 540 dollars for the first option and for the second one substitute the value of m as 6 now we need to simplify it 7 times 6 is equals to 42 and 70 times 6 is 420 so 420 plus 160 is equals to 580 dollars so the option first is going to be much cheaper and less expensive for first six months than the option two uh, so you can solve these type of um, uh, problems 
using the substitution method or elimination method whichever you feel easier you can use it and in the next uh, video you will you are going to see how to solve the system of equations by the graphing method follow these steps to solve using the substitution method hope you understood this concept please like subscribe and press the bell button to get notified on our latest videos